hey guys, hey guys, welcome back to our Garden Chronicles, and it's going to be our final Garden Chronicles for the spring planting, what, what little vegetables and stuff we did for the springs. Okay. Do it. Oh, I thought you throw the hand up. Speak louder. Speak louder. Oh yeah, I forgot I was outside. Okay guys, because you know normally I'm in the kitchen, when I'm in the kitchen, when uh took me uh editing the video seem like I'd be just yelling to the top of my voice. So that's the reason I try to keep it kind of low. And, uh, but I'm not gonna compete with the dogs, is that what you're talking about? Trying to compete over the dog market? Huh? Yeah, some of it. Mm -hmm. Well I can't do that now. I can't compete with them dogs. So just let me just let me talk and it'll probably turn out just fine. But anyway guys, um yeah, welcome back to the final little update on the uh, the uh, garden chronicles and I'm gonna take a little time with this one because all the other times when I wanted to get out and do a video for you guys it was either raining uh, I had something else to do because normally we do this on Sunday we had something else to do and didn't have time to uh, come out and tell you guys what I needed to tell you so first off, I think I'll go with let me tell you something guys. Tuck made me do make me move my oil on the water. It's hot out here this morning. We got out two hours later than we had originally planned. So hey guys, that's okay too. You know what I always tell you guys? When you have a little setback, give it 15 minutes and then keep on pushing. Because life is going to happen. I got me some H2O in the house. Because it's hot out here. I've already been inspired. And I got my uh, bug spray, mosquito spray. And then um, once again, thanks to my girl Trina. Y'all going to hear me call Trina uh, name a lot because I just love Trina. She has such a, uh, she has such a sweet, uh, sweet spirit. She had told us about some... Uh, and stuff to get and we got it and that stuff is the business tree you just sprinkle it out here because we didn't get to put we don't put something out yesterday but we sprinkled a little out here this morning took me because he seen a few ants running around and we saw them running around out here believe me guys they're gonna find me they're gonna find me and bite the crap out of me as well as mosquitoes and stuff but anyway um we got that stuff and uh, I think during the fall, guys, I will show you the container so it could be on video that it came in. Because they took you throw that container in the garbage tree. That we yeah, still have another one, yeah. Okay. But anyway, we may insert it into the end of this video. First of all, guys, let me get sprayed up. <laughs> I hate putting this stuff on me, but I tell you, it's just a must. You don't want the mosquitoes. With everything they carry uh, biting out on. So we got that out the way. And uh, anything else that I want to tell you, maybe it'll come back to me by the time I could start giving you the little update on the uh, plant. But guys, started right here with this pepper plant. What well, ended up being a pepper plant, that's a little jalapeno pepper on it. I call it, uh, what was I calling this stuff that I got? Forgot it already. A mystery plant. <laughs> You know, we I, I planted this you stuff. You were thinking marigold, huh? Yeah, it was supposed to be the marigold. When I showed y'all an update on it, I was saying marigold. I thought the marigolds was coming up, and the pepper wasn't coming up, but it was in reverse. The pepper, it didn't come up, but I mean the marigolds, they didn't come up. And I'll be along the way when I get to doing my fall stuff. I'm going. It's a lot of more, a lot of more stuff I will be sharing with you guys about the marigold. But anyway, I had one of our family members, you guys, you know I call my subscribers my family members, because that's what y'all is to me. You told me that, uh, she told me that she thought it was basil and pepper. And I'm gonna tell you, and let me show them the reason Gary Reed, she thought that was it. Now this right here, we thought this was a, a basil plant. Cause look at the leaves but I kept sniffing and smelling I told Tucker I said this is not no basil because you can smell that basil and I had some sweet basil seeds 
I said, that's not the baby's. And I had, I had a few packs of them, so I couldn't tell by the pack which which one, what, you know, had I planted some out there because I didn't know exactly how many I had. But guys, that mystery plant that we that uh we originally thought was basil, can you see it too? I think it's a hibernate a habanera, a habanera pepper, ghost pepper. Let me see, can I smell it? Now check. I mean, you know them things is, woo, they as hot as H-E double hockey stick. So I, but anyway, these jalapenos and stuff in here is doing well. Guys, I was, my plans, when I put these seeds in this hell, little um, tray, I was going to separate it out. But after, you know, I had, uh, I had that a potty soil mix debacle. The potty soil was crap. It was a total loss. But like I told you guys, I don't let anything stop me. So I didn't plant anything else in that. And we went back and I tried, I, I was trying to find another brand to buy other potty soil because I had a, a bunch of that stuff mixed up and I had, them, had some of it already in the pots and all that stuff, but I wasn't going to waste any seeds. I said, no, I done, I, done, I done took a loss on the soil, but I'm not going to take a loss on my seeds. What it was, guys, it seemed like those, that company, and it's a well-known company, too, but I'm not trying to hurt anybody because you don't never know what's going on. Look like they just got in a hurry. The workers got in a hurry to this bag, that stuff, because it must have been such a big demand for it. That stuff really hasn't had decomposed good. It was like, um, that one kind of hanging down. It was like it was just a bunch of, a little bit of broken down matter and a whole lot of wood chips. I was like, what? And uh, I really didn't see it as much when I was mixing it with the other stuff that I mixed it with, the peat moss and the, uh, and the uh, manure. That's I mixed it with, I can't think right now. But anyway, um, I didn't see, I didn't notice all that, but once I got it divided up and put in the pots and stuff, I was like, this is a mess. So, but I didn't, I didn't let that soil be a waste. I got, once I found the potted soil that, uh, that was pretty good, that's what I used over there in the, um, in my raised bed. We gonna go over there, guys, in just a few minutes. But once I found that, and planted something to see how that was gonna work. And then I said, okay, okay, I'm in business now. Only thing was when we went to purchase some, they was out of it and they should have some back in about now because they had told us it would probably be about three weeks then and that's it's, it's been longer than a week, way longer than three weeks. But anyway guys, now this is a, can you show them the pepper plant cup? That is a pepper plant, which I had more than, I had about three of them in there. But the other one, they went away. They was a little small one, and they was a little trans, transplant. I just took some seeds and throwed it over there in that soil where I got my uh, hot, spicy banana peppers. And you know, I think I showed it to you guys. I didn't know whether it was gonna do something or not. But I put them over there and every one of them grow. And so they was, was in bed, and so I just I just uh, <coughs> got them out of there. We got them out of there, and I just spread them out in different pots. And uh, so that's one of them, and they're doing pretty good now. Let's see, uh, I don't, and I can't even remember what kind it was, guys. I know when it uh, grow up. And guys, this is uh, I plant this. I planted this in that. Uh, <coughs> uh, you okay? Mhm. Mm Maybe that spray them too. Uh, okay, this is some deal. This is um, cause you know I was planning on plant uh doing several herb plants, but after that slowed me down. After I planted the deal, the deal did come up in that soil. And then I want to share something else with you guys. I was doing a little experiment with my herbs, cause normally I and with my with my seeds really. 
usually I plant, I start my seeds off in a seed starter, and then I take them and transplant, uh, transplant them to a, a more permanent pot. But I was thinking, hey, you know, the weather done got good. I'm gonna try it. And uh, this is the only one really survived. I had planted some. Uh, uh, I know I planted some. Uh, can you remember what I planted? <laughs> Rosemary. Yeah, rosemary. And I think some oregano. I'm not sure about that. But guys, if you show them these little plants right here. These are some of the other pepper plants that I thought it, it was a little uh, bag of seeds. I don't know if it's from the Dollar Tree or not. But I put those, I put these over here in the pot. And they were just little old plants. And then all three of these I put in here. They, they did good. Now this was struggling. It was struggling pretty good. But I just kept on petting it and giving it a little stall and talking to it. I said, you gonna be all right, little dude? Just come on, show them, show them. You know, come on, I have nursed a lot of them half dead dudes back to help. Because when I put them in there, all of them was no size. They was a little, just a little smaller than this. But like this one, like, hey, told, him, told this little dude to get out the way we get and they coming on good and then another thing guys I want to tell you about the uh, uh, marigolds I don't know if I even shared this with Tucker now did I tell you that the uh, seeds that we sent to Aunt Lucia the one which got them at the same time that I got the one that didn't come up yeah you told me okay well anyway we sh we sent um, some packs of those seeds down to my aunt which is good with them vegetables and plants and stuff and all of that kind of stuff and um I hadn't really uh talked to her about it until her mines didn't grow we had talked but we didn't even mention the uh the seeds and stuff and then last week I think it was she called me and she was telling me because she'd be having so much other stuff to tell me sometime it'd be about uh loved ones and people we know done passed on or sick or something like that. She really keep me updated on that. But uh, she told me, she said that she had been meaning to ask me how did my seeds do. And uh, so I told her, I said, oh, I was intended to ask how yours had did. I said, but I just kept forgetting it. But I said, mine's, I said, they was a, you, I said, they didn't even come up. I said, they was a loss. I said, but the pepper plants did come up. But she told me her marigold seeds did awesome. She said they were about up past her knee and all that. But only one thing, and I'm glad she told me that, because I'm going to check out another place I can get some seeds that sell old uh, heirloom seeds and all that, old timing. She said it didn't have the smell of the marigolds. And that was basically what I was using it for, either for, the, uh, for that smell to the uh, it deters certain insects, or it um, uh, you can it can act as a pollinator for bringing the attracting the butterflies and the bees to your garden. You know, I told you guys, the people used to always plant that long time ago, because it, it's gonna bring in the pollinator. So, um, oh, okay, and my lemon tree. Now, this is what I was mostly upset about when I had put this, went through all that trouble. This was something of a getting my lemon tree which had already about died since it's such a hardy plant I mean a uh, tree or whatever if I call it the wrong name you guys uh, you guys know me and you know what I'm talking about if you know what I'm talking about you know you really don't <laughs> have to worry about it but anyway my little lemon tree got a lemon on it now it had more than this on it last year but it had some blooms and stuff. I don't know what's going on with this, but I'm kind of monitoring this to see what's going on with it and uh, trying to get the right uh, food for it. But anyway, uh, I had put that old, uh, as, a, as the elders used to say back in the day, I had put that old sorry soil in this. But what I did, I took a lot of it out, but I waited, I waited until I felt that the roots from the transplant was getting back, getting established in there, so I didn't bother with it. But I took out so much of that soil, 
and then I put in my good mixture and stuff and I see that that had helped it a lot so that's what I'm gonna do I was I had planned on not ever moving this not transferring this uh, uh, repotting this or pot, uh, pot on for years but since I had got it on soil down there I wasn't sure but look like it's getting better as it go so I always don't don't catch stuff out as a loss all the time so okay that's a, that's that with the uh, with the lemon tree okay over here guys you know I told you uh, I had planted the uh, I'm going to let Tuck get open some of that and I will talk to you guys. Oh, I, planted, yeah. I planted the cucumbers in those cylinder blocks, the squares in the cylinder blocks. I also planted some marigolds up in there, but I did not a one of those came up. That was that was one that, those were some that the uh, one, of, one of our family members had shared with us guys, our family on YouTube. But anyway, you know, I don't know too much about these cucumbers plants from normally you just plant them and uh, they do what they have to do and uh, since I was planting two I was wondering I said do I have to have a male and a female and, uh, and I said well I don't know nothing about that let me leave it alone speak up I said well I don't know nothing about that let me leave that alone that's what you can hear now Tuck telling me to speak up guys and y'all you guys watch y'all be so loud on me but say May May, what you yelling for? Oh, it's got a lot of dead uh, leaves on here. I need to pull it off because it ain't quite gone yet. But we got one cucumber. There's only one cucumber from over here. But it was absolutely delicious. But uh, I didn't, this wasn't dead anyways right for cucumbers. We put a little trellis back there that really wasn't, it wasn't tall enough. There's another one on there. I don't know if you noticed it or not. I hadn't came. I hadn't bought this stuff. It was too hot. What's that? Maybe I can show the guys. Right down there. Oh. It's a little tiny dude. Is that the only one? Yeah, we're going to spot it one. But uh, when I take these uh, cucumbers out, I know now I will not plant the cucumbers over here in this space. This was not a good spot for cucumbers. Guys, you're gonna learn that when you uh, when you start whatever you plant, you know the small stuff you plant, you're gonna learn to you know what what area that works works best, produce best, and uh, live and stay healthy, vibrant, looking. Uh, look just remember that area. Just try to do your planting over there because uh, that's where I normally do. That's the reason I slow down with what I'm doing. That one look good. I said, no, I need to take a step back because I'm not going to waste a whole lot of money on this stuff. I said, I would just share with these guys as I, I would share with you guys as I go because I told you guys, let's start small now. Don't get over, don't get out here. If you don't know anything about planning and depending on what you're going to get over the, uh, the uh, internet, just always just start small and plant and try some of the uh, whatever you plan on growing. Just try it in an area, get a plant or two or use some seeds or something. Don't go invest a whole lot of money in there before you know that you got your soil and everything right to uh, do that. And I know a lot of people test their soil and all that. And I have had my soil tested here at the house but it's been years and years and years ago and then I thought about it most people back in the days they did their own testing with how the, the plant grew what it needed or whatever and stuff like that not and if you're not planting a large farm or something like that where you got to be pretty well accurate on, on the uh, amount of nutrients or whatever potassium or whatever you need in it you don't really have to you know just play it by ear so, like I say, the cucumber still got some blooms on it. And, uh, but when I pull these up, guys, I'm not going to try cucumbers in these cylinder boxes here. Over here on this side, where it's getting a lot of shade, I think I'm going to put some, like, some little bush snap beans. That grows and not going to run in 
because these cucumbers, that was all I could get, but these things, you know, they vine and cucumbers or whatever you want, you want to call them. And Tuck had said that he was going to, tell me what you said you were going to do the cucumber stuff to. Let me let Tuck tell you what he said. I didn't get y'all started. I have a, um, a old bench or a trellis, uh, Clara called it an arbor chair or whatever it is. I'm sure going to, I'm going to, uh, plant my cucumbers on it. Uh, uh, put, I'm probably going to put them in buckets, put them one on each end so that it will run and run all the way across the trellis and have an arch. Then I have a platform. I'm going to show, I'll show all that to you shortly. Here it is. Them that little arbor that you plant on the east. Because the arbor is just gone. It okay. used to be so beautiful, guys, but the bench and stuff, I've been having that thing for yeah, many, many years. So he said, is you going to take the chair for it? No, no, I'm going to use that. I'm going to set buckets in that with other kind of plants and so they can, uh, something else can grow. But uh, hold on just a minute. I'm going to have to move around over to that area. So I'm going to have to stop it. Okay, guys. This is what I'm going to use for my cucumbers. I don't know, this, this bench here, you see it has an arch all the way across. And this is a bench, we've had it for years, and it's pretty much served its purpose. If we had that, it needs paint a little bit of something here, but I'm not really concerned with that. But I put cucumbers on both corners of here, and one on the other side in a pot, and cucumbers run, and they will run, and they will cover this entire arch all over here and of course I got the seeding part right here and I'm talking about putting some bucket plants there and put something there that was growing growing there maybe tomatoes or, or I'm not sure exactly what it would be right now but I'm be able to utilize this whole whole uh, area here to uh, grow cucumbers and I'm gonna try that this uh, next time around and see how they do do that of course there are other plants that runs as well but uh, but some of them too are uh, heavy, maybe like squash and things like that that runs. But that's what um, my plans are for that. It's what Maymay was talking about. Okay. All right. Well, hold on just a minute. Let me get back over to Maymay. All right, you guys. I'm back over here at Maymay. Okay, guys. I'm over here with the pepper plants. Can you show them the peppers and stuff? Guys, we have. I have did. I have picked from the uh, the pepper plant twice, and I, sometimes I just whenever I'm cooking something, I just come out here and uh, get some. Oh, these are the best! I had some in those peas that we showed you the other day, but what I did, I just had took one and I cut it in half. I left the seeds in there, and uh, it, it just and those flavored. are the hot banana peppers. <laughs> yeah, they hot and spicy banana peppers. Got the best flavor. You cannot beat the flavor. I think I will continue. I'm going to see what this, I'm going to play this out and see what they do without bothering them right now. But I know that this area will grow pepper really good. So this is going to be, I'm going to continue to plant the peppers over here in those little cylinders. It's about time to pick again, right? Tim? Yeah, we got plenty of pepper here. Pepper will, will produce all the way up to, to the frost fall on them. So we'll have pepper all the way up probably around November, October, November. Yeah, because we got a lot of blooms on it, but I was talking about it's about time for you to pick Not only her, that, this, this is all her, but I, I showed you the other time I have plenty of jalapenos over there in my area, and she got jalapenos on there that she showed you a few minutes ago in the pots and stuff that are still growing. So, I mean, we'll have pepper uh, provided something catastrophic happen to them that some kind of bugs don't get to. We'll have pepper well over into, into the fall. and. And probably had, early winter before we get frost we down this, here. Excuse me, I didn't know we had this many more about me oh, yeah. pulling. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of We got pepper here that needs pulling bad. Okay, uh, but yeah. anyway, guys, I made some pepper salt on it uh, with these and some of my little jalapeno pepper. We will be some inserts in this video once it stops. Once this video stops, guys, stay to the end, to the very end. I don't know what because I was getting pictures because I wasn't coming out enough to give you guys an update. So what I did, I saw it. Some of it would be some inserts of uh, little small video clips. Uh, some of them just may be uh, steals. I don't know. 
I talked to some of them, so I don't know which one took is going to be. And guys, these are I'm going to use them all. Plants. Oh, you want them all? Okay. Show them my eggplants. Keep it out for me. Okay, this flower, this plant I put up here, it, it did it did what it's supposed to do. It stayed beautiful to here maybe about a week ago. But it, it, it had plenty of these out here at it. So I remember this plant. I'm going to get this again to have it out in my garden. And guys, uh, I think that's the reason I got one that got the uh, eggplant so soon. The eggplants, these are the uh, Japanese eggplants. See, so there you go. Uh, you got a little one right there coming, one right there coming. Wow. Two small ones on that. And I've already had a cooking out of it, and I told Tuck after we had ate, I said, Tuck, we forgot to take a picture to show the guys. I made, one of them had got so long, indeed, and it's a male eggplants because it really didn't have that many seeds in it. Oh, guys, it was absolutely delicious. And you know when they're fresh like that and you cook them fresh, that purple skin that can normally, an eggplant can be bitter if you don't cook it right. But when you cook it right, that's, they're the best. They are the best. I love eggplants. And let me tell you this, guys, in case you hear somebody say it one time. Uh, long years ago, some of the real older people used to call it a vegetable plant. Is that right, Doug? Do you mean a vegetable mm -hmm. plant? They used to call it a vegetable plant instead of the eggplants. But, you know, not Show them these here. These, huh? these bigger ones you have. Uh, oh. It's got some uh, egg. They got some uh, plants on there. Okay. See that? Oh, yeah. I didn't know it was up there. God, these are oh, so that's good. That's a big one. Look down below that. Now I got it. Oh, look at that, guys. You see? That's, that's what Japanese said. Plants and they're growing. Yeah, my father in law turned me on to these. And that's the reason I tried them because. Uh, at the time we went to looking for the Black Beauty, we couldn't find them, but I have found the Black Beauty. And now, guys. Hmm? Go ahead. Yeah, guys, I wish. Uh, you see the pepper salt. See, and I find out when you do smaller batches of, of canning and stuff like that, because I did the water bath of canning, because normally I just uh, put my pepper and stuff. I just put it, just heat up the vinegar and a little sugar and salt and just pour that over it. I don't normally, uh, I wasn't canning it, but this time I did it in the water bath. And oh, they're probably about, they probably going on the second week that they did it, right? Mm hmm. But we'll have a few. Yeah, about two weeks. Now, guys, this here go, when I get over here to this, uh, I'm going sh to have Tuck to show you the, uh, raised bed that I absolutely love. If I have if when he take that swing set down and we could put another one up there I am going to get another one because when you get older and you can't do a lot of bending and stooping, this this is the business right here. Get you a raised bed. Uh, some people deal there as well but I told you I see this raised bed. I don't know. It was, uh, a lady that has a, a, a she has a YouTube channel. She have a nice guy, and uh, I think the name of her channel is a, a beautiful Ness Garden. And she she had one, and I told Tuck we had already Tuck had already said that I could get like a big old trough that um, the cows drink water and stuff out of. That, that's what he had, we had planned on getting that, but when I seen hers, I said, damn, because the other one, the water trough was galvanized, and, uh, but it had a bottom to it, because this, is you just put it together, you have to assemble it, and you put this together, and, uh, come over and show them what you need to show them, what they are, show them these, uh, pepper plants in here, some of them little seeds that I had stuck over in those little cylinders with the, uh, hot spip, uh, uh, spicy plants and then took this got them all out one day and we just stuck them all around here because I could I could test them and see how they was going to do it here. but once I got the plants in here I see right away I said I'm going to have to have a shade cloth for this because it's getting a, a lot of that uh, eastern sun east uh, sun coming in from the east and 
tooth when I put these eggplants in here, which was um, uh, transplants. And these are the black beauty, supposed to go to big ones. I'll show you, be showing it to you later on. Oh, I thought they was gone. They had, whew, they were just like big. And I mostly water in the, in the morning time, so if you water in the evening time, uh, if you water this, uh, your plants, when the sun is the hottest, you ain't gonna do nothing to burn them up. So we always do morning water. You know, sometimes cook the water here in the evening, because see, you know, used to work, but uh, I like to do that morning water. But we had to put some water to these, and I said, if they're gonna die, they're gonna die, you know, but we dropped through the machine. And they put a little water to them, and brought them. I mean, it's, it was just, from that morning to um, about, Oh, about, about three o'clock. Oh, I don't know what time it was. Them things looking like it's gone. And here's some more of those little old bitty pepper plants. I mean, them jokers are doing good. They was about um, a couple of inches tall when I put them in there. Because at first, I was just going to let them grow over there and whatever. And then I said, no, this would be a good thing for me to see how they would work here in the Sabine. Now these peppers probably would work fine here. And they didn't, they just withered down, but they came back up with the water. Because pepper loves sun. Stuff like that. That's what helped them produce. But I don't, I'm not sure what I'm gonna be planting over here. But I know one thing. I will, I'm going to um, plant some collards over here. I got to start my seeds first and I'm gonna start some seeds with tuck. Cause tuck mine is on. Let me walk back over to the table, Tuck, because this is hot up here. Just showing the thing, and I'm going to show you. They may over there hiding. <laughs> no, I had to get me some water. That song they ain't playing. I don't play with that song like that. I used to take it back when we was younger and all that, but since we done got used to this here artificial air, it ain't like it was in the country. You got to use your common sense guy. So you being out there in that blazing sun this time of day is not a good thing. Huh. Let me put the thing back. This water is so good. Anyway, guys, um, back of everything else we can tell them. Well, I think you pretty much covered it. Uh, Most of everything. Oh, and, and then, uh, guys, that other oriental lily that I showed you, I had planted over here by the old man. Yeah, I don't know what happened to that. I don't know what's not in the right spot for the copper died. And I was waiting before I transplanted. Did you show them this in Amarillo? They done seen that before. Let them see this. Uh, you know, I showed you guys this. It's, it's just, it's just uh, doing really well. I probably need to separate that. It's probably about one, two, three. There's four plants in here if I separate them. Normally, I'm, I'm real lazy about doing that. I may let it grow another year before I separate them. They have like little uh, tubers or potato roots. Uh, we, I used to call them potato roots. But anyway, guys, uh, what you got? You know, some red pepper in there. Some of the, the jalapenos have turned red. I'm trying to just... But anyway, guys, as a, a overall thing, this little stuff that I planted and shared with you guys as much as I possibly could, it was a success. And like I say, I've taken a whole lot of notes and some of it I may be able to share with you guys when you ask me some questions about something. And um, but make sure you have plenty of bug and hand spray when you go outside. And if y'all can see how the water is running off of me. And I have this long sleeve stuff on because 
I can't have that sun on my arms like that. That's right, I don't do beach. It really burns me, you know. But uh, it feels good here up under this umbrella. It feels real, real good. I can, I can keep a breeze like that. There you get this blow and sit out here. I make it sit outside for a minute. <laughs> it feels so good up under the umbrella. It's in a great, it's in a great place. But let me finish telling the tip while I forget. Uh, but that other uh, Japanese, I mean Oriental uh, lily. Yeah, I think it's no. If it ain't lily, it's two lily, Oriental lilies. It's uh, in the front yard in that that old wheelbarrow. And Tuck will insert a picture in that. He'll go around there and take a picture and show you that it's still doing good. And uh, guys, that's just about it for the uh, spring garden update. Uh, we didn't get to do what we did, uh, what I had planned on doing, but we did what we did, and guess what? I thank God for that. And this has been a beautiful experience with me starting back into it. I didn't overwhelm myself in no kind of way, because I want this to be an ongoing thing. I'm not going to stop, and this is a little exercise and stuff that I got from out here. It did help my knees and stuff. Because I was getting out here earlier in the morning, but Tuck, you know, couldn't film it and stuff. I would come out here and do a little touch-up or whatever. And um, I go back in, and I just didn't do a video on it. Then I just decided I'll just do a little uh, last-minute update. And maybe in the fall, when things are just not as hot, um, I can show them more with what I'm uh, producing. Oh, there's one thing I forgot I didn't finish saying. Tuck always said that uh, he didn't have too good luck with the collars when he planted the collars. They would start out beautiful because he grew them in the spring. And I told Tuck, I said, uh, I told him how my dad and mom did with him. And that how people did, uh, you know, let the collars and turnips be more of a fall uh, crop. I think that's when you planted those turnips there in that thing to show me that they real grow. I done got two pieces out of that, guys, and they got some nice sized roots in there. And I love the roots of a turnip as well. I make a meal out of that, just putting the roots in it. But he wanted to show me, but he sees that uh, I think now he believes what I'm saying. That you can, not saying that you can't do it, but it's better if you do it. So that's the reason I'm going to uh, uh, plant some seeds and give him some uh, collard plants so he won't have to be wasting any money in it. And if he want to plant some out there in his garden, he can. Because you know you know how means are. They are. Uh, you got to really just kind of show him. And after he seen what I was saying, I said, then the bugs and stuff won't be as bad. And you can uh, use a little bit. Put you that stuff you put on the air, that severance pot dust. Seven dust. Use that seven dust. probably what they put on this um, on this stuff to grow it off as fast as it do and all that stuff you'll know planting in your yard is gonna be a lot better and you will know what you have put in there. You're not gonna put in those harmful chemicals and stuff that will harm you and your family in the plant. See long time ago they they that, that stuff wasn't really available for them unless they unless they was big time farmers and stuff mostly the, the fertilizer and stuff. Now my daddy did use a, 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 a special fertilizer and stuff for his peas and his corn and stuff because he had big crops of that. That was something other than our little uh, backyard garden, which our backyard garden was huge and it was, it was pretty huge. And uh, we shelled those peas and the peas and butter beans, guys. All I can say, I wish I could have shared them with y'all. They was absolutely delicious. I can't believe Tuck ain't saying anything about them, but he just <laughs> ate them all from me. <laughs> Am I telling the truth about that? <laughs> yeah, you are. Huh? You are. I be mm -hmm. I, 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 I are what? They made no secret. I, I'm, I love peas. Fresh peas, particularly. Peas and butter beans. I was like, did you leave? I can you actually do without collars. I, I, I can eat peas and butter beans all year round. Collars and turn, I like turn it for the way. Collars, I do. I like them both, but uh, if I had a choice between the, eating peas, collars, 
And uh, turnips, I take peas every time. Peas and butter beans. And my son, the same way, but me and Britt, we those leafy vegetables, mm -hmm. anything. And guys, I got plenty of uh, lettuce seeds. You know, I told you when they got me that, uh, that greenhouse for my birthday, Britt and ordered me a little, uh, a little package of uh, lettuce seeds, and I didn't want to waste them. And I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna do with that, and I'll share it with you know. Now lettuce, lettuce is something else. It's a cold, it's a cool weather crop. So I'm gonna be doing that sometime or another during the fall. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't about to mess them up as I get them out for the springtime. But I'll be showing you more about that. And I'll be talking with you guys as I go. Tuck telling me that the video is about to cut off. And I think I covered a lot with you guys. But you guys know anytime you have a question or whatever, just drop me an email. My email is always in the description box. My email and address is always in the description box of every video. And I will say go check my daughter uh, Britt Simone channel out. Her and Smudge. They uh she said that she was fixing to get back into doing uh her videos because she having she'll have a birthday coming up Tuesday. And I I don't think I'm gonna do a uh, weekly meal. No Sunday dinner today because uh, we got some leftovers that I'm just gonna eat. So I'm not gonna put that video up. I'm just gonna have this video going up. So this 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 video gonna be in real time. Tuck gonna put this up. And uh, like I say, if you have any questions, just drop me an email. And to my uh, and to my sweet sister that asked me to do to sing a song, this particular song that uh, she asked me to sing. I know the song, but I I can't remember the, the lyrics and get it in because you know everybody have different they hum, harmonize and tune and stuff differently but I may figure, figure a way to say, sing you a couple of notes when I get it all together because you know YouTube don't allow us to do music now you see some people with music on here because I have a, a sweet uh, girl that I follow her channel she, on Sundays she plays some of the best gospel music I'm talking about oh she have a mixture of it and I just love her but she do that for her subscribers she and I'm a, and I subscribe to her channel too she call us her true sipper but she play that music and I'm telling you it's better than Christmas I enjoy it so and uh she um she play that on Sundays and she don't because she don't monetize that video she'll take that down so I can't tell y'all to go in and look at it but uh, truth hurt, girl, sister, you know I love you. But uh, and keep doing that gospel. I'm getting back where I can hear on Sunday. Because I didn't know you were still playing it until I ran across that one that I, I think was last week I ran the counter. I said, go, you, 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 go, truth, go, go, sister. I mean, she went all the way back to the old man, Mark. That, that girl know that God got his hands on her. And I appreciate it. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead on the end of the video. And I love you to the highest. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up, guys. You got to help us with this YouTube stuff. Because it, it ain't easy with us getting all this content and stuff to you guys. When we got a full life. And uh, share, and leave, videos. share out my videos. Leave me a comment. Ask it, how your, is your spring garden still doing well? Because you know, according to what part of the world you in. Or what's how you, what area you got some stuff planted in, it still could be rolling. Cause I think dog days don't end to probably next about the probably about the second of second going into the third week of August. So it haven't been that bad. We've been having some rain all the way through it. So y'all let me know how everything going and still continue to send me the pictures. And if you sent some pictures, go over to May May's Happy Table on Facebook and check out your um uh, your uh what you have sent me because I think Brittany she when when she uh when you email it to me, Brittany usually go ahead on and put it on my Facebook page because you know I don't really manage that she do. But guys, I tell you I love you to the moon and back. Have a happy Sunday and stay positive. Remember, guys, it's some crucial time. Remember to use your common sense. God gave you that common sense for you to use it, and you use and and He gave He gave all us a discernment as to how to judge stuff. So be, don't don't just let no people, don't be controlled by no media telling you stuff. Do your research, listen to stuff, and then you compile it by what you compile your 
uh, information about what you see and what you don't experience, and you be your own judge of that. We, you know, you don't let everybody just tell you anything. You don't go running with somebody tell you it's fixing this and finish that, and it don't look like it's fixing to be. It might be. Prepare yourself accordingly to it. Now, you keep yourself well prepared, and that make me think I got a lot of that stuff that I stored up in my room. But guys, that's it. Remember, like I say, remember what May May always told you guys. Think positive, use your common sense, and May May love you guys. Until my next video, bye. Bye, you guys. Guys, this is an insert that I'll be adding to my garden chronicles. This is just some of the uh, peppers and tomatoes thing that I've gotten out of my garden here as of recently. I may may want to cook some fried green tomatoes this morning, so I went out and got uh, about four of those tomatoes there that she can do that with. There's a lot more out there than that. And uh, jalapeno peppers, you can see I have some. That's green and some's red, turn red and, and one. Uh, okra plant there. My okra, you know, I planted late and uh, that had one okra up there that's sitting that was standing out that I feel it was going to get hard if I didn't get it off there soon. So I just went ahead and pulled it. I don't know that we were doing anything with that one uh, uh, part of okra, but uh, uh, but I just wanted to show you that insert here real quick before, uh, and it will be added to my uh, garden update as well. Have a good day. Okay guys, this is just a little quick insert of the peas and the butter beans from Tuck's Garden that has been shelled and washed and the next step is going to be cooked. This is just a quick insert, insert showing you guys how you can get food from your backyard. Guys, this is just a quick insert of the uh, peppers out of my garden. This is some of the uh, I've shown you these peppers when I first planted them in my garden conicles and I wanted to give you an insert of my second harvest and I will be inserting this insert into my regular garden chronicles update as soon as I can get one to you guys. Guys, these peppers are superb, absolutely fantastic. The spiciness of it, I don't have to use too many seeds in it but the outside of the pepper has awesome flavor. You cannot go wrong with it. It is a hot, spicy banana pepper, and I will definitely, definitely be using these again. So guys, this is a little insert. I wanted to show you my second harvest since I won't be, uh, since I haven't been doing my updates like I normally do. But uh, I will talk to you guys more in my regular Garden Chronicle update.